Good morning everybody, so today the builder pattern, so we'll go via an example to see how this one works, so enjoy! So this pattern helps you to uh, craft objects, structs, with scalability and reusability in mind. So, um, so then we need um, a struct, so um, we're just gonna create the human struct, and a human has an age, which is an int, a height, which is an int as well, and let's say eye color, for instance, which is going to be a string. Alright, so let's apply uh, our builder pattern on this track. So to start with, we just need a, a doomy constructor, so we can um, create a function, just simply call new human, and it's returning a, an empty struct human. So we can try that out, so we have me and I'm a human and we can just log that uh, just to make sure that everything works as intended. So I'm logging me. So then you can see that it's returning an empty struct, all good. So where the builder pattern uh, is useful is we're gonna uh, build piece by piece the, this human. So for that we create the first function, receiver function, with eye color. So you can see that this type of function is different from the first one. And we can just uh, create the function called with eye color, which is just taking a color and return a human. And you can see that within the body, we just change the, we just assign the eye color of the human to the color that the function is receiving. So you will see, uh, you can see with, you will see set, or you can see build. But I personally prefer with, and uh, you'll show why. You'll see why, sorry. So at the top, I can change me, I can change my first human with, with eye color brown. And you can see that it did assign brown. All right, so all being good, I can do the same with um, uh, with the age, for instance. So I'm just copy pasting the function, and I can call it with age. And then instead of taking a color as a string, it's taking an age as an int. Uh, yeah, we can just move that um, at the first position because age was the first property of the human. So then it's tidy. And there you go. You see why I like with because it reads pretty nicely. So it's like a new human with an eye color, with an age. I like the the way it's chained basically. So you can see I assign myself age free and you can see the struct uh, top uh, right amended. And then to, to have the full set of builders, we can complete with the height. So then uh, it's just a, um, a builder function called with height and it's taking a height. Actually, um, right, so we are assigning height with what we're receiving. And um, there you go. So we can change the third builder function. You can see that the order on line six doesn't really matter. You can change them. Yeah, we can make, f make it float to make it uh, like more real. So I'm 1 meter uh, 90, so there you go, H3, 1 meter 90, and my co eye color is brown. Excellent. Alright, so um, so you can see how you can construct um, easily the uh, a human with those um, builders function. So let's reorganize a bit the code because I want to show you a few more stuff. So First uh, method was uh, our Doomy constructor, and then the three following functions were the builders function. And then often you'll see a reset function. So it's just that if you have a human and you want to reset it, you just um, you just invoke the Doomy constructor and return uh, return it basically. 
and you can see I can reset myself I can chain it so it reads nicely and you can see that it's um, resetting everything all right um, okay so um, just another thing so in the constructor part you see that our first function was a dummy one but um, usually you will see a full constructor like a constructor which would allow you to um, pass uh, all uh, property once so then you can um, first argument is the age second one is the height and third one is the eye color and we simply build a struct and return it so age is age height is height and color is color so proper typical constructor method so then um, I can say you and you we can use the new human with fields and you can see that it's just taking in one go the age the height and then the eye color and we can print that and you can see that uh, it works as intended all right um, another benefit of uh, the builder pattern is if you know that you're gonna use um, you're gonna build um, a struct pretty often with the same set of characteristics same set of um, properties you can predefine some constructors some builders so for instance we're gonna define the giant function so we're gonna use our builders so a giant is well let's say it's a new human who's pretty tall so let's say height 2 meter 50 and then we can set the eye color of the di giants as um, I don't know green maybe so um, and we we can leave the you notice that we left the age empty so let's say in your code base you're gonna use you're gonna have to build giant quite a lot but then you have different use cases across your your, your code base so we can define for instance a young giant and you can see that we just invoke our function giant but then we can compose with age free and then all giant with age uh, 150 so then you, you now understand why I really like using the word with rather than uh, set or build and you can see that we have our uh, two giants so first one is a young one and then the last one is an old one so that's the reusability and the scalability all right so um pretty straightforward pattern so um, um as a senior software engineer we uh during interviews we hear it a lot mentioned because it's a pretty simple and powerful pattern um only caveat i want to mention to you is um to keep it simple, you're gonna often um, mutate the property as you could see in the setters uh, in the builders function. So be careful with that. So if you want to do something clean, you can copy the object uh, and then mutate the copy and then send back the copy. Generally speaking, just make sure you test properly your, your builder uh, functions and you properly test your preset, predefined uh, builders as well to avoid any bugs in production all this kind of nasty stuff i hope you enjoyed the video um and then see you later happy coding